new battery with 33 hours of battery life. That's pretty good, especially since I'm going to be seeing those in New Japan. Okay, so there were two projects I was working on. One is Monopoly, the Monopoly board, and the other one is actually a little shelf. But in between all of the printing, our printer had a mini meltdown. And now the bottom here is kind of messy because the uh, pigment is just kind of melted through and through. I think after cleaning it, if I really wanted to, this could probably still print what I needed to, but since we printed quite a lot of things to it, and the recommendation was after about 100 hours, you should probably service it, I've decided to do the smart thing and just purchase everything I need to service the Prusa, and um, just delay all the print until we finish servicing this little guy here. Um, so anyhow, we have a lot of equipment that we need in order to service the Prusa. They're not all here yet. So while they're not all here yet, I figured, why don't we work on another project that I've been holding out for a little while. The idea is, I want to repurpose some of these things. These are kind of the outlines for every single print before the Prusa actually prints anything. Almost like a thin wire of PLA that's pretty bendable. And I figured it's kind of a waste to throw them out because I think there is a way to make these things useful. The idea I had was to actually make these into brushes. And one of the hobbies I like to do is rock climbing. Rock climbing requires a lot of brushes. I think these could work as bristles. So I've kept every single one of these strands we've had. And today we're gonna see if we can repurpose them into turning them into bristles. I figure since we're kind of recycling these parts, why not try to use some of the failed prints that I did in the past and make them into as the kind of handle part. This is a cat fishing rod that kind of broke apart after Aslan played with it too long. Um, here's just a brush of some sort and I'm going to basically turn this part into the holes for the bristles. Here's some failed 3D printed rulers that I'm going to hold onto the side with to make them a little bit more sturdy. Okay, so first things first, let's give this a solid base to work off of. Two failed PLA rulers, basically. And they are zip tied in the middle. It's perfect. I might glue gun the bottom just to make it a little bit more sturdy. This part has already a lot of strands on it, but it's not quite thick enough, so I might just go from around. Here, put that portion off and then put that into here so this side kind of doubles in. Okay, the other way you can do is kind of just keep plugging things into here until hopefully it stays and then just glue gun this entire thing shut. So why don't I give that a go and see if that leads to anywhere?
Magic when you filled this entire thing. This one, eh, but it does have reach, which is why I kind of do want to give that a go at least. Still need to figure out what to do with the middle parts though. I do want there to be something there. I just don't know how to apply it. Yeah, this works. to this, it does help, but it's just not quite perfect, that's all. It's not complete. It's all the filament outlines I have, so... On second thought, this is quite tall. Maybe if I cut this in half, it might work better. Instead of brushing this long, maybe halfway is probably enough. Oh, 
What's the rotation? Just like this? Yeah. Just, uh, just a loop? Are you doing a painting? You don't have to. We're gonna, we're gonna run four by four. What are you supposed to do? It's like without the rest. You do both. Yeah.